Hello, 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 and welcome. This is Peter Schultz, and we are finally back to baseball. I gotta tell you, it's been way too long since we saw our last baseball game back in October with the Astros topping the Los Angeles Dodgers in the World Series. Gotta tell you, it's finally good to see the baseball teams back out in action. This is arguably the best season of the year, with warm weather, spring training baseball coming right back at you. Teams are back in action all the way across Florida and Arizona, getting their spring training games in just now, starting to do some games right now. This is the time of year where all the clubs are back in action and have the opportunity to see who they have on their teams, what the organizations are all about, and to feel good about the upcoming 2018 season. I can say for a fact that I am definitely thrilled to see the opening of the season that's right around the corner at the end of, end of March. Uh, I particularly particularly am a Cardinals fan, and with the off-season additions of Marcelo Zunia, getting rid of a couple of the prospects, but you got to do what you got to do. Uh, see him out there in the outfield with our revamped out, outfielders. We have uh, Tommy Pham, Marcelo Zunia, and Dexter Fowler out there now. Uh, quite a bit of a difference from the starting outfield of last season, uh, but always opportun- opportunistic to see what happens. And then uh, also to see the new revamped bullpen. It's uh, quite, a, quite a bit different this year. We have three or four new guys in the bullpen. Um, I gotta say, I think they're kind of trying to piece the bullpen together, but we'll, we'll see how it happens. Um, they might be able to turn it around. We have a new pitching coach, so we'll see if he'll be able to pull them together and actually pitch decent throughout the season. It is a 162-game season, so we'll see, uh, see how they do throughout. And then the uh, addition of a couple new starters. We have uh, two new guys. We got rid of Lance Lynn. He's a free agent still, um, but we'll see how he does. And we added two new guys, so we'll see if the starters can pick up where they ended last year. They ended on a fairly good note, chasing after a wild card position. Weren't able to get it, but we'll see how they do. Um, so I got to say, with the addition of some of these new guys, um, I am very opportunistic to see how the season unfolds. Uh, season starts against the good old Cubbies right at the end of March, and as usual, you got to get off to a good start. All games matter, even if throughout the beginning of the season, you got to win them. You got to win them all. Um, there's never been a 162 win team, but there always could be. So we'll see what happens. Um, but to be honest, every team has something to look forward to. The season's right around the corner. All the new prospects are coming up, playing well. This is their time to shine their time to earn that roster spot that they think they deserve. So I got to say, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen throughout this next uh, three-week period in spring, cra- spring training. Uh, it's only February still, but, I mean, season starts in less than a month now. Um, we got to see what happens, and I'm very opportunistic to see where the season leads. Uh, I got to say, my uh, postseason predictions are pretty much the same as this past season. Um, the National League West is going to be won by the Dodgers again. You can't overlook the power that they have. Big money, big power, everything's working up for them. National League Central, uh, as a Cardinals fan, I still can't overlook that the Cubs did do some good things in the offseason. They just added you Darvish. I think they'll be able to win the division again unless the Cardinals really piece things together, which is still still a pop, uh, opportunity there, but we'll, we'll see how it unfolds. And then the National League East, the Nationals will win the division again. Nobody else in the division really did anything in the offseason besides unload players, <coughs> Marlins. So we'll see uh, if they're able to get back to the top again, which I will pretty much guarantee there. Wild card for the National League. Uh, first wild card team, I think, will be the Cardinals. They have enough pieces to win it. Uh, but then the second team, that's really up to uh, up to a coin flip right there. I think that the, the uh, Milwaukee... Brewers, they have a good team right now. They need one more starter to piece things together. But if they add uh, Arietta to their staff, I think they'll get that second wild card spot. Um, and watch out for the Philadelphia Phillies. I think they have rebuilt for the past couple seasons and might be able to make that rebound into the playoffs. But we'll see. It's all up to all up to grabs right now. You have to be in the start of the season. Now for the American League, I'm gonna go with in the National or the American League West. I'm gonna go with. As usual, the Houston Astros, the reigning World Series champions. Can't overlook that they are the best American League team, just barely, but I think they are the best team in the American League, so I'll go with them. Now, the American League Central, 
this this is probably the the worst division right now. The Royals they didn't sign anybody this off season. White Sox still bottom of the bu- bottom of the bucket, and the Detroit Tigers they have nothing going for them right now. They have one or two good starters, one or two good position players, and one or two good bullpen pitchers, and that's about it. So I'm sorry if you're a Do- Detroit Tigers fan, but you have uh, you have a long season ahead of you. And then uh, to win the division, I'm going to say the Cleveland Indians, just like last year. And then for the American League East, the New York Yankees will beat out the Boston Red Sox for that division title. Can't overlook that their their pitching staff is going to be stronger. Their rotation is just it's flat out strong, and their hitters. I mean, Giancarlo Stanton adding them to Aaron Judge. You can't can't overlook that. They're going to win the division. And now for the American League wild card teams, the Boston Red Sox will be that first team, and I'm going to go with the Anaheim Angels this year. I think they'll be able to get that second wild card spot. Not sure if they'll be able to get very far, but they'll be able to get back in the playoffs. Um, so those are my 2018 predictions for playoffs. I'm not going to go any further into who's going to win, who's going to win, who beat who, but those are my predictions, and you never know. I mean, maybe I could be right. You never know. So uh, thanks for listening today, and I hope that you are as excited about this baseball season as I am. So go out there, watch a couple games, get ready for the season, get your jerseys on, and we'll see you at the end of March, the beginning of the season.